and aims to evaluate a novel paradigm for the diagnosis of physiologic significance of coronary artery stenosis. Here are the disclosures. This study was funded by HeartFlow Incorporated. No study investigator had any financial interest related to the study sponsor. Regards to background, since 2005, with the introduction of 64 detector row CT angiography, CT has emerged as a non-invasive diagnostic method that demonstrates high diagnostic accuracy when compared to an invasive angiographic reference standard. Yet the CT cannot determine the physiologic significance of its visualized coronary artery lesions. In contrast, fractional flow reserve is an invasive technique that represents a gold standard for the diagnosis of lesions that cause ischemia. And its use uh, to guide decisions of revascularization result in improved event-free survival in a cost-effective fashion. FFR computed from a CT scan or FFRCT represents a novel, non-invasive method to determine lesion-specific ischemia. So we evaluated the diagnostic performance of FFRCT in the de facto study. The de facto study uh, consisted of enrollment between 2010 and 2011 at 17 centers from five countries, enrolling 285 patients. After 33 patients were excluded, the final study population comprised 252 individuals for which 407 vessels were directly inter interrogated by invasive FFR. When examining the diagnostic performance of FFR computed from a CT scan versus just CT stenosis, uh, the severity of a stenosis just visualized by CT, you can see as depicted here in the dark red bars that for measures of diagnostic accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, and positive and negative predictive value, that FFR uh, computed from a CT scan demonstrates higher diagnostic performance for the diagnosis of lesions that cause ischemia. On the right side, you can see the area under the receiver operating characteristics curve that demonstrate the discriminatory power on a per-patient basis, as well as a per-vessel basis, is superior for FFR computed from a CT scan as compared to CT stenosis severity alone. Here are some examples of patients who presented not only with uh, high-grade stenosis, but with intermediate stenosis severity. We know that patients with 30 to 70 percent stenosis, even though they don't look high-grade anatomically, actually some of them experience ischemia and physiologic uh, consequences of their coronary artery disease. You can see that for measures of accuracy, sensitivity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value, that FFR computed from a CT scan is superior to CT stenosis severity alone. Here's an example of a CT stenosis that's graded as 30 to 49 percent stenosis. This is confirmed as an intermediate stenosis by an independent core lab examining these invasive angiograms. When an FFR is measured, it gives you a value of 0.74. Less than 0.8 is indicative of ischemia, and you can see that the FFR computed from the CT scan also demonstrates a value of 0.71, which is highly concordant and also diagnostic of lesion-specific ischemia. In conclusion, FFRCT computed from a CT scan demonstrated improved diagnostic accuracy over CT stenosis alone for the diagnosis of both patients as well as vessels with ischemia. Importantly, the FFRCT diagnostic accuracy was 73 percent, with a confidence interval that ranged between 67 and 78 percent. The reason I say this is that it, um, because of that, it did not meet its pre-specified primary endpoint of greater than 70 percent of the lower bound of the 95 percent conference interval. Nevertheless, FFRCT demonstrated superior diagnostic performance characteristics as compared to CT stenosis alone in all patients, in all vessels, and also in um, vessels of intermediate stenosis severity. FFRCT can be computed without additional imaging and hence no additional radiation. And the de facto study now represents the first large-scale demonstration of patient-specific computational models to calculate physiologic pressure and velocity fields from static CT images and should represent a proof of feasibility of FFR computed from a CT scan. Thank you very much.